Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be working on creating a Twitter bot using Python. And we're gonna accomplish this by using Tweepy, a wrapper for Python that will help us access Twitter API endpoints. This is very similar to how we use the Spotify API to create a playlist, but this is gonna be fully automated. And what this bot is gonna do is that every 10 seconds on our Twitter account, it's gonna tweet out hello and hello zero, hello one, hello two for every 10 seconds until we end the program. So what I hope is, what I hope you gain from this video is if you have a much more complicated use case or wanna create a much more complicated bot, this will give you the um, launch pad to start whatever project you have in mind. So let's get right into it. What we're gonna to wanna to do is actually apply for access as a developer. So what Twitter, the, to access the Twitter API, you actually need to um, apply for it. So it's gonna be a very simple form. You're just gonna press apply for a developer account. I'm using a very brand, is a brand new, um, Twitter I just made, we'll have, we'll just do hobbyist, we're making a bot and get started. And basically we're going to, I have this blurred out, but you basically just need to have a phone number and an email attached to it and just fill out this application and they will get back to you very fast. Okay, after uh, after applying, you should have access to the dev developer portal and access its dashboard. And from here is where we're gonna create the project, you generate API keys and it'll be our basic hub um, of our project. So we're gonna press create project. We're gonna call it simple bot. Uh, select UK, use case, making a bot. Product description, we'll make something very simple. App name, uh, bot text 12, something like that. And we're gonna generate API keys. So we're gonna wanna copy these down. So I recommend copying this and storing it somewhere else because we're gonna be using this in our application. So copy those down. We're gonna go to app settings, uh, keys and tokens. We're gonna generate a access token and a secret as well. We're gonna generate these and you're gonna save these as well somewhere else. So you're gonna have four different things that you need to save. You need to save this access token, access token secret, as well as your API key and API secret. One thing I would like to mention actually is that when we need to go to app permissions here, this is a very important step as well. You need to, if it's not read, write and direct messages, if it's sometimes it defaults to just read, you need to change it to read, write read and write or read plus write and direct messages and you're gonna save it. So we're gonna have that step done. But if if you did this, if you created first originally as read, you're gonna actually have to go back to keys and tokens and regenerate. So I accidentally made this mistake. So I'm gonna have to press regenerate. Yes, regenerate. And we're gonna recopy these, um, the proper ones. So that's just an additional step if you didn't start off as read and write. Um, so yeah, there you go. So the next thing we wanna do is actually install the Tweepy library onto our computer. So we're gonna to go to our terminal or command prompt if you're on Windows, and we're gonna first create a virtual environment. And if you see, saw my Spotify video, I created a virtual environment there. Cause it's basically just best practice to create virtual environments um, so that your packages don't affect your whole system. So we're gonna call our virtual environment tweet up, tweet pi. You can use the exact thing. And we're gonna do source, this is to activate it. Source tweet pi slash bin slash activate. This will now activate our virtual environment. And here we will install Tweepy. So from here on out, make sure that you're in this when we're gonna call our Python program, otherwise it won't run as intended. So there you go, that step is done and moving on. Now this step is actually very crucial and you can take this in two different ways. Either the best practice when dealing with APIs is not to put your actual API keys or any like that, any of that type of sort of information inside your code directly. Instead, we should be passing it as environment variables. That being said, you could do that if you would like, but I'm gonna show you how to do it the safer way. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create environment variables and I've already done this, that's why uh, I'm not gonna type it out. So you're gonna, we're gonna use the keys that you saved earlier, the four keys. And we're gonna create, we're gonna do export, which is gonna create the environment variable API key we're gonna set it equal to whatever it is and we're gonna press enter. So that's API key. So we're gonna do that sim similarly to every single one of them. We're gonna put API secret and that is our secret. And for on my end, I'm probably just gonna regenerate this. So these codes won't matter to me after this video. But um, yeah, so we're gonna do secret. Then we'll do it for the access token. Say we should copy paste. You should have it exactly like this and then put your code here. You can you can change the name, but if you want my code to work, um, you're gonna want to um, make these exact names. And then for API, or sorry, for then, I believe the access token secret like this. And there you go. So that step is done. So now we created these variables in our environment and we're gonna call this in our Python program to pass in these values. 
Alright, we're at our final step. We're actually gonna start coding our um, solution here to creating the bot. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna import our packages. So first thing we wanna do, import Queepy because we spent all that time actually getting that wrapper. So we're gonna import it so it allows us to use those tools. Next thing we wanna do, since it's we're gonna deal with the program stopping for 10 seconds, we're gonna import the time library and we're gonna import the OS library to access environment variables. There you go. And so now here's a very important step. We're gonna actually start, um, sorry, I shouldn't do it like that. We should, now we actually wanna bring those environment variables into our program and we're gonna do it like this. This is exactly how you're do, gonna do it, um, how to bring environment variable, variables. And so it's gonna search your uh, operating system for this environment, environmental variable API key and it's gonna put that value into this variable that we created. So we're gonna do that same thing for all of them. And as you notice, you can actually rename, you could have named them anything and then um, it could still have worked. So if you didn't name it the same way I did, that's completely fine. But yeah, here you go. So this, we're gonna just code this out really quickly. API, or this is gonna be access uh, token equals os.get and be um, access token. And one thing I can do do want to mention is that you, yes, we could have used the Twitter API directly through Python, but that would have required using the uh, request library and possibly curl lib. So this is probably going to be the more easier way to actually get this up and running. Yes, finally we're going to get the last one. It says token secret. All right, cool. So now that we have our environment variables in our program now, right here. So now we want to start actually working with Tweeby. And what we need to do is we need to do a really quick authentication. So I'll have something like auth, we'll set a variable. It's going to give us an object. We're going to set it to Tweepy dot oauth handler. And what this basically is going to do is it's going to ensure that the person, um, it's going to ensure that you're logging into your developer account. That's what the API key and API secret will do. So that's what, this is what this command will do. And the next thing that we're going to do is we need to set an access token. So it's going to allow us to actually work with our Twitter account. So you can see the first one as logging in and this next one is giving us permissions to actually use our Twitter account with Python. That's what we're going to do. Next, we're going to actually set up the, the actual object, which we will call, uh, call our, um, uh, we were going to call our status updates upon. So we're going to call it Tweepy and use their API method and we're going to set it equal to auth authentication that's our parameter and i will say i will put the tweepy link to their um, documentation so you can see all the different types of methods they have just not just like tweeting something maybe searching up users things like that so now we're going to now we're going to create the bot part simply i'm going to create a while loop and this is just simple programming and we want this while loop to just be true keep running forever and ever and ever without us having to look at it um, let's do something like hello equals hello plus the string form of X, just so that our string is gonna be different every single time. We're gonna now create the call to actually tweet to our account, api.update status, hello. And then it's gonna do X plus equals one, just so we have a different string. You're not allowed to print out the same, you cannot print out the same thing over and over again. So this is just to change it up. And we'll say, we'll put it to sleep. This is where that, um, this is where the um, time library comes in. We'll put it to sleep for 10 seconds. All right, cool. We're done programming. That is the whole program. So if you want to like look back and check what I did, um, go ahead. And yeah, so let's let's show you the demo. So now we're going to run the program. We're going to do Python 3. It's going to be tweet, sorry, Twitter bot yt, yt.py. We're going to run it. And so we're gonna see that's pretty much an infinite loop. So we're gonna see what happens. So here we go, hello zero. And I assume after the next 10 seconds, there should be another hello. So we're gonna wait 10 seconds really, and we should see our feed update. And um, maybe if I just press refresh, it should update. Yeah, there you go, hello one. It's in about, and it's, as you see, 10 seconds. And then if I wait another 10 seconds, it should have done hello two. Okay, so there you go. That is the full running functionality of the program. So there are things I do want to mention. This bot I created, it should, it's not going to last long because the, the API does have like a limit of how many tweets you can send out per, per se, like um, 
an hour, right? So if, if you were to do like a one minute or one second sleep and you kept spamming hello, that would actually not last too long. You'll hit your rate limit and then the bot will be done. So these are some things you wanna go look at the Twitter documentation. I'm gonna end the program right now, actually. I just do control C. There, there are probably finer ways of coding this out, but um, yeah. Um, so go ahead, look at the Twitter API documentation about rate limits and what is, what's allowed and what's not allowed. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is the bot full functioning. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and definitely comment more about what you'd like to see. And thank you very much for watching.